Good morning. It's Friday, November the 30th, and I'm Paul Kandakos, your host for Agoracom TV. Agoracom TV is a fast-paced, daily, edgy show bringing you the best press releases before the open so that you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. First off, I want to start off with a piece of advice to the presidents and CEOs that are releasing press releases. Get your press releases on the wires before 8.30 because there's a lot of bloggers, a lot of other guys like us that put press releases like yours in front of retail audience before 9 o'clock. So make sure you get your press releases on the wires because as we're scanning, we want to make sure we get the best press releases out there before the open because that's when everybody's looking for them. Second thing is, in your headlines, make sure you've got a catchy headline. Uh, exploration update doesn't cut it. Make sure if you've got great results, you're putting those great results in your title so both retail investors and people such as ourselves, when we're scanning through the headlines, find the guys with the significant news. Now, on to the news. We're going to start with Kodiak Exploration. They were halted yesterday and they've got great results that they released on the wire this morning. Uh, very significant numbers. We see big concentrations of gold and 3.6 meters grading 358 grams per ton. That's correct, 3.6 meters grading 358 grams per ton. And there's even more significant concentrations within that 3.6 meters. It's a high grade gold mineralization in multiple new drill holes. So these aren't old drill holes, these are all new, and these are new discoveries that they're making. Uh, within that 3.6 meters, as I mentioned, they've got greater concentrations, which includes 2.5 meters grading 515 grams per ton. And check this out, they've got 0.3 meters grading 3,876 grams per ton. So again, very significant, very concentrated. The recent drilling program significantly expands the area of high-grade gold mineralization along the Golden Mile both to depth and strike. The current drill program plans for approximately 600 meters of drilling and uh, as I mentioned it's Kodiak Exploration which trades on the TSX Venture under the symbol KXL. The company has built a portfolio of 100% controlled projects focused on gold, base metals including nickel and copper and uranium in three different areas in Canada. Uh, before the halt they traded at 359 and we'll see where they open up this morning. Next one I've got for you, Sin Chow Metals, which trades on a TSX venture under the symbol SMZ. Sin Chow Metals announced the discovery of 161 meters uh, of 0.81% copper and 0.71 grams per ton of gold on their Sin Chow property in Peru. Uh, the drill hole was drilled approximately 150 meters, to, uh, 150 meters southeast of a previous drill hole, which returned significant intervals of mineralization. So as we can see, they're expanding their resource uh, estimates here. Uh, it's a 5,000 meter diamond drill program, and it continues to further test the continuity and the limits of the zone. Sinchow Metals is focused on the exploration and development of the Sinchow property, which is located in northern Peru. Point of significance here is that it's 30 kilometers from the largest gold mine in South America. They last at 85 cents and they're off their 52 week high of $1.10. Disclaimer time, Agoracom client. OpenEC, which trades on the TSX Venture under the symbol OCE. Uh, they've got great results out this morning because they've announced 728% profitable sales growth during Q1 2008. The revenues hit a record high of 1286000 which represents an increase of 728% compared to the revenues of their previous uh, quarter from uh, ended September 30th, 2007. Uh, the company recorded a small profit of $21,000 in the three months ended September 30th. So revenue growth, small profit, very positive sign. Cash flow for operating uh, reached $514,000 in the three months ended September 30th compared to negative cash flow. So again, very positive signs. And as we mentioned before, uh, we love the Chinese companies. Uh, and as I understand, they have two subs in China. OpenEC Technologies is a company specializing in the acquisition of software companies in e-business, mobile business, and business-to-business -business commerce. Uh, they're last at 18 cents and they're off their 52-week high of 28 cents. Final one I have for you today is on the OTCBB. Uh, they trade under the symbol QPCI. Uh, the company is called QPC and they've announced a $12 million development and production order for laser television applications. Uh, it won the major contract to develop and deliver lasers to be used in rear projection televisions based on DLP and LCOS technologies. Uh, 
Uh, the contract also provides for an exclusive supply relationship. Uh, that's good news, exclusive supply relationship if they can get it, and it carries a value up to $230 million over the 10-year term of the contract. Now, typically you'll find that the companies will mention the uppermost limits of the contract, but that's not necessarily what they're going to get or what order they're going to fill. Pursuant to the contract, QPC expects to receive development milestone payments of up to $1.1 million over the next 90 days, so that's a very positive development. It would be a great cash infusion for the company. Uh, they're last at $0.61, cents and they're off their 52-week high of $1.69. Uh, QPC Lasers is a world leader in the development commercialization of high-brightness, high-powered semiconductor lasers for the defense, homeland security, industrial, and medical markets. And I'm Paul Kandakos for Agoracom TV, and that's a wrap for today. We hope you have a great weekend, and please join us next week where we get a great new set of companies in front of you before the open.